every game drive is a new experience and I don't uh, see myself ever tiring of it. I could spend most of my life, if not all of it, on Safari. So I spent most of my childhood um, in the Ranthamore National Park um, tracking tigers and even photographing them uh, with my father and my uncle. I'd be taken off Ranthamore uh, every other weekend for my jungle education and I think that just stuck with me. Growing up in Ranthambore, um, of course, impacted uh, my life and I was very clear that I wanted to do something with wildlife um, that made a difference, uh, but also shared what I had experienced with the world. Academics wasn't really my thing. Um, I much preferred being uh, out in the bush. I was in Ranthambore uh, for the summer before I was meant to start university and I didn't want to leave, so I didn't. I think I'm, I'm reasonably organized when it comes to, to packing for safari because I pretty much know what I want. Three safari shirts, three safari trousers, and then three changes each. A nice safari jacket, not too heavy. Gilet, essential, half jacket, works like a dream. Nice heavy duty binoculars, and very importantly, hats. I first came to Jawai in 1995 when I was playing polo for the Jodhpur polo team and that's when I first saw a leopard in uh, this region. The next time I came back uh, and saw a leopard here was in the summer of 2013. My dear friend and colleague Yusuf Ansari who actually uh, had made a trip here earlier that year and said let's go back, let's go back and um, when I came here it was, it was incredible and we both sort of knew um, that this was a very, very special wildlife experience. More so because it was outside a national park, it was outside a reserve, uh, yet there was a healthy population of leopards living in harmony, uh, coexisting with a population of human beings in what is a semi-pastoral, semi-agrarian landscape. We'll have a quick scan where this uh, leopard was seen this morning. See, we, we might have come out uh, sat in a boulder on the on the high reaches. We made quite a lot of the roads, um, but you know none of this is possible unless you have the goodwill and support of the locals. The camp benefits 5,000 people directly from 10 rooms. So it's not a it's not a social enterprise, but it behaves like a quasi social enterprise. So when the idea of Jawai was born, we didn't want to build just another tented camp. And the fact that we were in an area that was not technically protected uh, at the time, uh, we felt that Jawai should act as a, a model for conservation tourism. We've adopted six uh, schools along with the local government. We are doing conservation work. We've got a leopard research program on, or rather a wildlife research program on, which is non-invasive. We have a fair estimate of the amount of leopards that are here, their movements. Uh, we, are, we are collecting raw data. So it's, it's actually um, an, an effort that, is, that goes way beyond uh, a luxury tented camp. In every season, things change here. As it starts to get drier, flamingos start to arrive and uh, it's amazing to see flamingos in Rajasthan. In the next few months, as winter starts to set in, we'll get amazing uh, flocks of duck and geese from as far off as Siberia and Europe. Apart from that, as I mentioned, uh, we have amazing sightings here of Saras crane. I love being out uh, in the bush and being at one with nature. It's incredible to be able to travel uh, a lot. What stands out about a lot of travel is the fact that you're, you're never really bored. One gets to see different things, meet different sorts of people, uh, experience different cuisines, um, and uh, you know, if you travel as much as I do, you're getting to do that more often than not. I love what I do because it doesn't feel like work, and that's the most important uh, thing, whether it be wildlife conservation or the books or working on the executive board of Relay and Chateau, it, it, it's all fun. It's the stuff I enjoy doing and I'm very privileged, I think, to be able to do stuff that I really love doing.